Greg Kelster played for Michigan State, the Detroit Pistons, a mainstay in the community here. We were talking you up this week on 7 Action News about your camps, but when you come in and join us, Greg, we always want to get your insight on the Pistons. Thanks for being here, first of all. Well, thanks for having me. Stanley Johnson's the guy. We talked about it at, at Win for a little bit there. Justice Winslow sitting there. He's the guy that Johnson will be compared to. What would you make of the pick? Well, I was a little surprised, too, but you know what? When I heard all the talk about uh, you know, how Stan Van Gundy has a history with at least this guy's camps, his camp, his, uh, his supporters, uh, he felt very comfortable. Tom Gores uh, at the draft, in the draft room, Andre Drummond, when the, trick, when the pick was made, they were clapping, and they were really excited about it. So I had to take that as a true sign that they've done the necessary homework, they feel really good about, good about the guy and his fit with this roster and what they're trying to build for the future. Does it shock you at all that Stan Van Gundy said yesterday that he might not start? No. No, because that's, it, you don't want to put pressure on any young guy coming in. Now, he may start. If you look back at the, the, the most recent picks the Pistons have had, all at that 7, 8, 9 spot, every one of those guys started the season on the bench, but at some point they became starters. Greg Monroe, Brandon Knight, Andre Drummond, KCP. So I think the, the possibility is there that he could start, Johnson could start, maybe just not on opening night, but at some point. The pick overall, I mean, you see a guy that they need a guy that can play the three, that can slash, that can score, the versatility is a big deal. Shooting is the immediate thing that people say is not a strength for him. Is it a little bit of a head scratcher to see them bring in a guy that they needed to fill a spot who doesn't shoot well? Well, I think they like his toughness and, you know, they talk about his defense, but they also talk about his upside three or four years down the road. Now keep this in mind, everybody on your roster doesn't have to be a prolific three-point shooter. You just need people to be respect, respectable shooters. Uh, look at the Golden State Warriors. Look at Draymond Green. Did yeah. you ever imagine he'd be a three-point <laughs> guy out there? And no, he's not a great three-point shooter. For them. Yeah. He's not a right. great three-point shooter, but you have to respect him out there. And I think that Johnson can do the same thing. He can work himself into a 35 to 38 percent three-point shooter with all that other stuff is slashing. And I like the fact his pronouncement after he was picked, I'm the best player <laughs> in this draft. How about that? I know. I it. mean, he put a target right on himself. And he had some, maybe some, uh, some meat behind it because the Pistons fielded about four or five calls after they drafted Johnson to trade yep. for him. That's right. I'm laughing as you're talking because we have to reach up to touch this, and you're almost <laughs> hitting your head on the hoop that we have back here. <laughs> I just like that you guys put me next to this guy. I mean, like, <laughs> God, I already look short If the hoop were already. that size, I'd still be playing. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> right. I think I could play with the hoop this size. So you're also here to talk about your camps. You're wearing the shirt, Gregory Kelser's basketball right. camps, decades in Detroit. You were at Cast Tech this week. Justin Rose, who hosts the cave week after week, uh, got to visit with you and we got to see the impact and the images are kind of startling because you see kids dribbling basketballs and there you are watching and then you see a referee with homework ahead study skills it's yeah. always the balance with you you know quite a few years ago we decided that we had to marry the two uh, we believe firmly that education and academics must coexist and in order with academics first that's, the, that's the, uh, the foundation that every child needs to have if they're going to succeed at anything. So we just emphasize that on a daily basis at my basketball camps. They get a lot of basketball, trust me, but they also have time in the classroom. And the kids actually end up loving it. You can see the smiles for sure. Uh, give us the dates and times of what's coming up next because it goes for a while this month. We've got three more camps. We start in two weeks from tomorrow at Southfield High School. We're also at West, uh, West Bloomfield High School later on in August. We have one in between the two at Gross Point South High School. And we have a website that everybody can call. It's simply GregoryKelser.com. You can get all your information right there. Enough. One of cool. the best. Always mm -hmm. so good to talk with you and your insight. Thanks, Thanks I like for it. All your support. Stanley Johnson, not a great shooter, but neither was Draymond Green coming into the NBA, and that's worked out well for him. Awesome. That's Greg Kelser. Sign up for his camps. Get your kids there. One of the best experiences for young basketball players in the Metro Detroit area. Our final thoughts coming up next on the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Game.